howdy folks welcome back to rod's fishing adventures in today's episode we're out on otter lake and it's february 19th it's chilly start to the day it gets about 50 degrees at the end of the day but i'm going to show you how i locate these fish what i look for as far as structure water depths water temperature all that stuff to locate these schools of crappie so come along with me i'll meet you on the lake and we'll see if we can find us a few crappie well, we're following this ridge, uh, this uh, ledge, I should say, not li uh, ridge, but ledge. And uh, that's what I'm talking about. These fish will be uh, suspended on these ledges. And let's see, a little, there's a little bit of a dip there, and there's a, a log right there. Some fish suspended on it. Um, but in these winter months when it's cold, I look for anywhere from 15 to 20 foot of water. And if it warms up and the sun's shining, they might go even shallower than that. Well, we should be coming up on some trees. And it looks fairly flat right here like this. See, here, here we're coming up on a tree and there is some crappie on it. Those little dots right there. That's a tree going up and there's its shadow. Um, quite a few crappie on it, actually. There's actually three trees down through here. But uh, we're on a ledge. It don't look like it right now because I'm running, I'm running parallel with it. I'll give you a shot of it uh, coming in straight at the bank, kind of show you how much of a ledge it is. A lot of, a lot of crappie on these trees, but so you can see the shadow of that tree, the trees right there and there. And all them little specks are crappie. Quite a few of them. Now, will they bite? I don't know. And they're suspended anywhere from 10 foot down. So they're fairly deep yet. It's, it's cold. And uh, they're still fairly deep. We're still in a winter pattern here in Illinois. All right, I'll give you a shot of it. Uh, there's some more crappie right there on that little tree. But they're, they're 10 foot down to the bottom. All right, I'll give you a shot of the coming straight up towards the bank and show you that ledge. Now we're in about 22 foot of water. Water temperature today is about 40. 40.5 something like that there's some fish now we're headed right toward, straight towards the bank and you should see this start coming up fairly rapid there's a little fish all right now we're starting to come up Still in 15 foot of water. There's our ledge coming up. It's a gradual ledge, but it is a ledge. And see them fish hanging on that ledge like that right there. We're in about 10 foot of water there. And you can see I'm fairly close to the bank. I'm 12 foot off the edge of the bank there. And we still have snow on the ground here. all righty so these fish will hang on these ledges especially if they got some more structure besides the ledge the ledge is structure to them but if it's got a tree or two on it that makes it even better i'm gonna have to try to cast them to them i've tried about three different colors changed depths and they don't be they don't seem to be interested in it all right I still am using a one inch baby, but it's in the shiny shad, which is red metal flake and silver metal flake. And I got a pink one thirty second head on. See if they want to chase it a little bit. And I just cast over top of that school of fish and I reel it in real slow. Right over top of their heads. A lot of times they can't stand that. And there was a bite. So maybe they want to chase it today. A lot of times when you, I just missed that bite, I stopped. You notice I stopped and let it sink again. A lot of times they'll come back after it. He didn't. I'm letting her sink to about 10, 11 foot.
There's a fish. First one. Ain't a very big one. But I think they're wanting to chase it. No, it's, in fact, it's tiny. Little bitty guy. Three inches long. And they might pick up a bit better when the water starts warming up a little bit later on this afternoon. Hopefully. They ain't real big. But anyway, like I was saying, they're hanging on these ledges. I got a few trees out here on this ledge. So that helps a whole bunch. Uh, and they're going to be schooled up this time of year. Water is cold. He's just a little guy. We'll let him go. Uh, but today, evidently, they're wanting to chase it. I'm, like I said, I'm using little one-inch babies. Just a little bitty guy. You can see them here on my finger. Um, but they're hanging on these trees on the ledges. And anywhere from about... Well, you, you've seen on the graph, they was about 10 foot deep all the way to the bottom there, about 20 foot deep. But I'm looking in 15 to 20 foot of water is what I'm looking for. Structure in 15 to 20 foot of water. There goes my phone. Be right back. Potential spam. Should we mess with the telemarketer? Let's mess with. Them. Hello. Hello. Foot Hello. fetish. Foot fetishes are us. Green. I'm with US funeral expenses. How you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm with Foot Fetishes RS. What are you after? You like the big feet, little feet, stinky ones? What do you want? Hello? I guess she changed her mind, folks. <laughs> there we go. There's a little fish. Same thing, folks. So uh, this fish was in it. I don't know if you can see the bank there, but it's a fairly steep bank. Um, small fish again of course but uh he hit on that old uh orange sunrise that little black crappie he's about maybe four inches long but right here it's about 10 foot deep right in front of me the boats drifted off that ledge and it drops off to about 15 foot and there's a little bit of a brush pile there and them fish there wasn't very many on it but there's a few on it I didn't show you on the depth finder because same thing over and over but anyway they're holding on that ledge on that brush pile i need to get off top of it probably got spooked out of here now which they don't they don't spook real easy not as easy as a lot of people would like you to think there we go um but they was holding on that little bit of a ledge there it wasn't much of a ledge about a five foot drop from from 10 to you see there's uh we're in right now about 13 foot of water <clears throat> but there's a few fish on that tree there's a ledge here it drops off there we go sorry about the shaking i'm throwing out some marker buoys but there's a the fish about 15 foot of water right there Water temperature is about 40.7. There's the end of it. But I'm running parallel with it, so you really can't tell it's a ledge. But there's a ledge there with a tree hanging on it. I'll show you that when I get back to the other view. There's some more fish right there. A few. But anyway, we'll see if we can catch a few of these. If you can see my buoys there, folks, that's, that tree runs out there. And where you can see the end of that wood sticking up out of the water, it's about 10 foot there and where my buoys are at it's about 15 foot so it kind of a little ledge of a drop off and them limbs off that tree you come out to about the end of them buoys and about where i'm at it's 18 18 20 foot but we're going to set up on these fish see if we can catch a few of them Might be a little longer five inches <laughs> ain't much a white crappie there we go there's some fish water's about 13 and a half foot deep there there's not much of a ledge here it drops off fast close to the bank 
but there is a tree right there. You can kind of see it, but there are a few fish hanging on it. Heck, they're fairly shallow. They're five foot deep down. <clears throat> Water temperatures come up a little bit, but not much. But we'll get on them, see if we can catch a few of them. We're in about 15 foot of water now. So let's see. So there's just a tree there. It's not much of a ledge, but it's still in, in, in 13 to 15 foot of water. So it's still fairly deep. Fish are kind of shallow though. They might be coming up for that sun, getting in that sun. There we go. That didn't take long there. Not a very big one again. But them fish had moved up a little bit in the water column. I'm expecting to get up in the sun where the water's a little warmer. Not a big fish. But as you've seen, that, like I said, that water was 13 to 15 foot deep. There's a brush pile in there off that treetop. Um, holding a few fish on it. Nothing big, I don't think, but there might be a big one in there. You never know. And all I'm doing is I went back to vertical jigging. I caught one fish casting to them. But all I'm doing is taking that rod and just twitching that end up a little bit, an inch or two, not much, and holding her still. Again, we're in about 15 foot of water here. There's a tree that's running out here. Not really on a ledge, but there is structure here in about 15 foot of water. Nothing special there, little guy. And I did do go to a two inch ghost hunter, chartreuse and white. See if they'd hit a bigger bait, which he did. There we go. He's a little better fish. That's a black crappie. He's probably seven inches, maybe. Like I said, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for uh, ledges or trees that are in 15, 20 foot of water. And and like I said, if the sun's shining and, and it's a little warmer day, if I can get him out of there, um, they will move up in the water column like they did today. They're spinning anywhere from five foot down to the bottom right now, uh, trying to get warm, getting that sunshine while they can get it. They eat a little bit better fish, not much. A little black crappie. Been about four hours and that coffee's still hot in my new Rod's Fishing Adventures logo coffee mug holds four cups. If you want one, email me. My email's in my description. Let me know. Uh, you can PayPal or Venmo me the money. I'll be links in the description for them. 35 bucks, that includes shipping and everything. Oh, a little bass. Ditch pickle. He ain't very big, about eight inches long, maybe. Here's another pretty good example of a ledge with a tree on it, folks. There's the tree starting to pop up. I changed color palette so maybe you can see it a little easier. And we're about 18 foot of water. There's some of the limbs and stuff off the tree. All right, now we're starting to see fish. All them, all them bright spots right in there, real bright yellow and orange, those are fish on that tree, crappie. And there are a bunch of them. They're anywhere from five foot, suspended about five, six foot, all the way down to the bottom. Said so we're in about 19 and a half foot of water, or I'm sorry, eight, yeah, 19 foot of water right now. 
water temperature is still about 40.7 it hadn't warmed up a lot today but that sunshine on it brought them up a little closer to the top so that's what you're looking for folks ledges in about 15 to 20 foot of water with some uh, brush and stuff on it would be great they they will hold on a ledge without any brush on it but if there's a tree close by they're going to hang on it and they will go shallow when that sun's shining on the water to kind of soak up that sun so let's see if we can catch a few of these fish you can see folks that's uh, i don't know if you can see it from that camera angle or not but the tree runs out there off that ledge like i just showed you on the on the graph there and those fish just piled up off the end of this tree on this ledge where it drops off Oh, that's a better fish. There we go. That's the best fish all day right there. And he ain't a big one. Black crappie about well, he's probably nine, nine and a half inches. He'd be a keeper if I was keeping him. I'm gonna change you guys back over the other side since the Well it's changing again, ain't it? Whoa, I don't believe this is a crappie. Oh, that was a nice bass. Probably a couple pounder anyway. There's a pretty good view of, the, of what I'm talking about. That tree's run off the bank there. Right where the tree goes in the water is about five or six foot deep, believe it or not. Out here, it's probably 20 to 25 foot deep. Uh, but them fish are hanging off that tree out in about 15 to 20 foot of water they're suspended about five foot down to the bottom there we go i believe i am going to call it a day on this one folks i hope this helped everybody out um what to look for for these winter crappie it says february 19th we didn't catch anything huge. I think the biggest one was 10 inches and that wasn't even on film. I forgot to turn the camera on, but I caught a couple nines uh, for you. Um, like I said, we didn't catch much size today, but we found fish. That's what I was trying to show you, how, how I locate them and what I look for as far as structure and and the water depth and everything this time of year. They're gonna be deeper this time of year, especially up north. Uh, I know down south, Texas and that, they're thinking about spawning probably down there right now. But uh, we are in 15 to 20 foot of water. The water temperature is about 40 degrees. <clears throat> Those fish were suspended earlier, deeper, about 10 foot. And as that sun got up over overhead and kind of shined down the water, they moved up in the water column to about five foot. Uh, I hope it all helped you all out and remember if you like these videos, please subscribe Hit that thumbs up button hit that notification bell and share it with all your friends and family. I'd sure appreciate it and God bless y'all